Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with Peanutty. The Happy Planner had a sale, and so I made an order. And so let's check out everything I got. Let's grab a pair of scissors, careful using sharp objects. A couple tips when opening cardboard boxes is don't cut towards you, cut away from you. That's knife safety tip there, number one. Applies with scissors too. This side's already been done for me by the lovely post office. And then when you're cutting along the top, don't cut deep into the box. That's how you get cut products across the top of the box. So I like to pull the top of the box up a little bit and then just hard enough to cut through that top layer. See, we didn't cut down into this layer of cardboard and definitely not hard enough to get through into your products below. Okay, let's open this up, see everything I got. Oh, my little freebie got bent there. Oh my gosh, they had 30% off everything, even their sales stuff. And they put some, some old stuff back in their sales stuff. Oh gosh, okay, too much stuff. Oh my gosh, Christmas again. Okay, I got one item that I didn't have before. I think everything else is rebuys <laughs> because it was on sale for a really good deal. But this is, okay, this everybody's been talking about. All right, let me move all the Christmas and all this. Actually, okay, a couple of these I didn't have before. And then some fun stuff for the micro. Okay. So this one is the first thing I added to the list because they got it back in stock. Everybody has been talking about this, and I wanted to see it for myself. And this is a one of the Happy Planner journals, so the guided journal. So it's not a planner. It's not just one of the... Um, happy notes that are just the, the paper. I'd say plain paper, but they usually have design on them, so they're not totally plain. But let's take a look at this one. Everybody's been showing it online. Now, don't get rid of the packaging that comes wrapped around these because you can cut this to make a dashboard out of. So we can definitely recycle that. So this is just a Hello Happy. To me, it looks like it's been written on there with like a, a bleach pen. Really cute. Got to get that little adhesive dot off of there. And the back, I believe it's just the plain yellow with the Happy Planner logo, of course. All right. Be difficult. Okay. And we get these fun, clear gold glitter discs. That's probably a little better. You can see that gold glitter in there, really cute. In the classic size and look how fun the inside cover is it's that fun speckled edge all right plastic packaging off cute little welcome sign off and then you get this marble painted dividers on both sides and then this one's positive thinking positive outcomes plain on the other side and this one's purpose to have an attitude of gratitude and there's that same print that matches the cover on both sides oh wait one more divider think reflect discover create grow and the yellow marble I'm not crazy about these dividers I just don't think that's very cute but what I'm really excited about are these guided journal pages to me this is more like a bullet journal but they've gone in and done the drawing for you so now they do set it up with this month's goal, but look how easy you could put a box here and make it whatever you want. And it does say month of, so like you, let's say we're gonna do it for June. And then here's some habits that you wanna work on for June. And then every single day of the whole month, you can come in and mark off the days you're able to do those. And then look at how fun, to read or to watch list. So what do you plan on reading? Maybe you have a show you like coming out with new episodes, you can put it down here. And then power words. What are your three power words for that month? And then take care of you first. So I guess some self-care um, things to do here. But again, if you don't want to put self-care here, you could easily, you could even just leave that or you could put a colorful box sticker over it and make it whatever you want. And then list your own things there. And then look how pretty you get this really pretty black and white floral oh, letter to yourself. But if you don't want to do that, you can cover that up, do whatever you want love me and then here we get into our weekly so what the first week of the month this week's priorities how can you 
take action to make sure that these priorities happen? And then how can you apply this month's power words to these? So remember the power words back here. How can you use those power words to help meet those goals? And then things you're excited for, you know, what big things are coming up that month that are going to be fun. And then what are you listening to? Look how it looks like your MP3 player. And people still have MP3 players. I still have mine. And then is listening to this bringing up any emotions or sparking any thoughts? So not just what are you listening to, but then like how you feel about it. What are you thinking about it? This could be, I mean, maybe it's podcast you're listening to. Maybe it's YouTube videos. Maybe it's actually music. Maybe it's a book on tape. You can put that there. And then look how fun these are. Mood of the day. You get these cute plants. So you happy all the way to sad. Um, how are you feeling? Give yourself a compliment. And then like a daily affirmation. List three things that inspire you today. And I just think these are so cute. A little note to self and it's an actual note. Um, they're this for the next day. Mood of the day. But look, it's a different flower. And then again, how are you feeling? This is the same um, but this is different. Give yourself a compliment here, but one thing you want to reflect on here. And then a place for gratitude on this day instead of things that are inspiring you. And the problem with the gra the guided journals is I don't always feel like doing the prompts they suggest. To me, it gets a little repetitive having the same prompt every day or, or at least the same prompt every week. But, you know, you can cover these up and do something else. Like maybe something funny somebody said or maybe a little picture here, you know. You don't have to do what they've printed on there. And then I just think it looks like a bullet journal. Like the people practice drawing little um, doodles that look like this. So here your mood of the day is rainbows. How are you feeling? Um, is there something you need to let go of? How can you process it and move on? Like, so maybe you don't feel like writing about that on Wednesday, but you feel like writing about it on Monday. You know, make it your, make it your own, right? Uh, what are three things you need for you today? But again, you could do three funniest things that happened today or three books you want to read or you checked out from the library or three errands you had to run. I mean, you could really do it however you want. Remember this. There, maybe there's something funny that happened or that you remember doing. And then some doodles or some thoughts on the doodles that you just did. Just have fun. And then this one's coffee cup. Three, three ways to encourage positivity in your day. And then their um, mood of the day. I'd rather do water bottles than coffee cups because I don't drink coffee, but I get it. It's very popular. And then kindness. What does this word mean to you and why? How can you apply this word into your daily life? See, I don't know if we need to write every single week about what kindness means to me. It seems like that would be the same every week or pretty similar. All right, and here is where our week starts over. So... Yeah, so that's going to be the same page now. Let's see how it looks like a bullet journal. And then you're going to get some extra sheet there of dot grid paper. So you could either use it here or you could take it out and put it somewhere else. But I love that it looks like a guided journal. It looks like you've drawn these boxes yourself. It's just a lot of fun. And then let me see, is there an end of the month review? No, that's just a weekly regular weekly pages and then here you get your beginning of the month review again and this is the same that we had the beginning of that last month oh just kidding something happened all right let me pull this back up so this page is the same yes maybe i skipped a page no so at the beginning of the whole thing you get that letter to yourself but here on the second month you get daily highlights so write down a highlight from each day this month at the end of the month, review your achievements, and then star your favorites. So that's pretty cute. But again, let's say you didn't want to do that. You could put uh, maybe your steps or you know whatever goal you have. You could put that there. And then is that the same? And then the, and then our weekly starts the same. So let me see what the other months do, because these are going to be the same weekly inserts. Okay, this month, aha, different. So now we have favorite moments and look how they look like they've taped pictures up. So you could put pictures in here. You could do a little doodle. You could put funny things that happen. You can see I keep coming back to that. And then this is the same weekly pages. All right, let's see. What's our fourth month going to do? And if you used it every single day, it would be four months. But, you know, if you could skip days if you want. They're not dated. They don't say Monday, Tuesday on them. 
Okay, so self-care bingo. That's kind of funny. Complete each of these self-care exercises at least once during the month. Do a face mask, read a good book, do a breathing exercise, practice being mindful, give yourself a compliment, get a good night's sleep, make a list, bake a yummy treat, go on a walk, be creative, meditate for 10 minutes, watch your favorite TV show, stay positive, reach out to a friend, stay hydrated all day. That's a good one. Enjoy the outdoors, snuggle, but it looks like struggle, snuggle up for a movie, cook a healthy meal, do a workout, slow down, listen to music, practice self-compassion, do one thing your heart enjoys, write in your journal, unplug for a bit, and give yourself a manicure. Very fun. So I could see why this one was so popular. Before, there was a guided journal that gave us a couple decorative pages like this, and then the rest was just blank. So this one, having so many pages that are decorated and in such a cute way, I think those other guided journals tend to be, I'm trying to picture them, I think just a bit more plain. Like they didn't have these cute designs, I don't think. I think that's why this one's so popular. But it was 30% off, so I definitely wanted to grab one. Um, again, not crazy about that cover. I do not think that cover is very cute at all. But that's okay because the inside's so cute and I have other covers that I can swap that out for. But let me know what you guys think on this one. But let's grab everything else we got. Let me see. Okay, so let's start with the little bits. And then we'll do sticker books. So my little bits I got, I've gotten these before, but I love them. So this is skinny mini paper, filler paper. And you can see we've got the, t so for the mini planner size, and then we get the wrong, wrong cute girls down here. And these are the traveling girls. You can see Big Ben and a cathedral. It looks kind of like the Milan Cathedral. Um, but I make micro size filler paper out of these. So you get two different colors or two different pages. You get the lined with the purple bags and on the back you get this white or it's probably a pale pale purple dot grid. And then the other one is this dot grid on the back and lined on the front with these really cute girls. So this pack is 50-50, the purple and the white. And in a future video, I'm going to make more micro size filler paper and I'm going to leave that out and this is a mini wrong wrong accessory pack and I've bought this one before but I wanted to get this one to make more micro accessories for that micro planner so you get the sticky notes and these are already punched so they're ready just to pop right into your planner And I'm going to put them back on here because I want to do a separate video. And then you get the mini size filler paper. Now these are all the same. You get graph paper on the back. This kind of reminds me of the social light with that blue scalloped edge. Get it, babe. And then on the front, you get those gorgeous wrong, wrong ladies and lined paper on the front. And then you get this really cute New York pocket folder. And I make a micro folder out of that for the micro notes size. And you get a sheet of stickers and the little dashboard. So I'm going to use all of this. We're going to do another micro video with the paper and the pocket folder, how to do those accessories. So, so definitely subscribe if you love the micro planners and the micro notebooks. So then this is, for a while they were making these sheet protectors with pockets. So you can stick little pictures or little um, decorations and then pop those in your planner. Uh, these are great for memory planners, but you could also use them like um, in, if you have a recipe planner, you could put pictures of the food you're doing. This was the demo page, but if you want, you could cut those out and stick them in here. But see, so you get how many pages? 12, 12 of these page protectors and you get the four little boxes and then the one larger box. And I think it's a three by four. My guess would be this one's three by four. <laughs> three by four. Okay, so perfect three by four and then probably two inch by two inch boxes. Yeah. So you could do pictures. 
uh, maybe a favorite sticker you could kind of mat and put on those and then you can pop these in your planner um, you can pop them in your memory planner you can put them in your uh, whatever really okay so those are the page protectors and then you can also cut them down to fit in your micro planner so we'll do that for that as well I put some in my big Christmas planner with pictures of Christmas food and it's just gorgeous and I love it okay so that's little accessories I bought to play around with for the micro planner and those micro notebooks all right then um what do you say sticker books or Christmas accessory packs I am a sucker for the happy planners Christmas stuff I've bought everything Christmas they've ever done I hope they come out with more this year they do an extension pack every year I buy it every year I just love it so I think it's so fun I love Christmas my theory is if you don't like Christmas and you're a Christian because I can understand not liking Christmas if you're not a Christian it's not your thing but if you're a Christian and don't like Christmas I think you're doing it wrong if you don't like the music I think you're listening to the wrong music if you don't like the Christmas TV shows there's better Christmas TV shows um, you know there's just but there's different ways of doing it so if you don't like the way you're doing it you know change it up but I love Christmas and you get this cute oh this is sorry this is the planner companion accessories so this one came with a cute little bracelet we haven't seen them doing this lately but those were fun and I think you could turn this into a charm you know I think that's really cute if you don't want to use it like a bracelet and then you get this folder I did a video where because I have bought this before but I did a video where I turned this into pockets that I punched and put in your planner. So check out that video. I'll put a link in the description below so you can see it. And then this one, let's check out these goodies. Yeah. So this, you do get five, no, sorry, four of the greeting cards. And these are all just plain inside, but they're still coordinating and cute. So you get these four cards. No envelopes, which is a little odd. So maybe not the kind of cards you would mail to somebody. But, you know, if you baked somebody a plate of cookies, you could tuck that card on there or into a gift bag. It doesn't really need the envelope, right? If it's a gift bag, you can put that card right in there. Or if you're handing it to somebody, it's pretty cute. So four cards. Or, you know, you could frame, frame them if you like the design or use them in journals however you want. And then this one, you see, you can see it's a little old because the adhesives coming off there but these are from last year I believe and then you get these half sheets making a list so this is great for Christmas now it does say naughty nice but you could use it like you know purchased and wrapped or or uh, I don't know you get two checklists you could do when you've bought it and when you've used it or however you want and then you get dot grid down at the bottom and on the back, you just get lines with the check. So this is great at Christmas because maybe it's shopping list, maybe it's uh, menu, things to buy. Uh, maybe it is people to call or cards that you need to send or events you need to buy tickets for. You know, <laughs> we have a lot of to-dos around the holidays and you get probably 10 sheets of these. Yeah, 10 sheets of these to help you do it. And they're great because they're just half sheets. You could still see the rest of your week planned out now we do get some plastic envelopes and these are great because they snap right in your planner um, you could put donation checks you could put coupons you could put your maybe some other lists you could have one that keeps all your Christmas receipts in it you could oh I had one I was putting my pictures in there until I had a chance to memory plan them um, so really there's tons of uses for these. If you like the cash system, maybe it's your cash system for Christmas, you know, maybe cash for gifts and maybe cash for donations or for um, tickets to events and things like that. But lots of great uses for these plastic envelopes. Love those. And then on this side, we get a nice big dry erase dashboard. I don't actually use the dry erase. Some people suggest the wet erase, but I still think it transfers over to the paper next to it. And so I actually just put sticky notes on here if I'm gonna use it. Otherwise just use it like a big dashboard, like a big bookmark. 
but it is fun. You get the nice list, Santa stop here and shopping list, and then graph paper with some bullet points. But I would rather have a paper version of any checklists um, because I do like to go back later and see what was on that checklist. Um, so those I would save. <laughs> so I wouldn't use the dry erase board as it's intended. So I'd rather it have a cute Christmassy kind of scene or decoration on here. Um, you know, maybe if it was just even this kind of decoration, that would work for me, but it's cute. Okay, and it's Christmassy, so I'm glad that we have a dashboard that's Christmas to go in your Christmas planner. Or just replace the bookmark you're using in your regular planner with a cute Christmassy one. And then we get some Christmas labels. Now, most of these are like gift giving labels to and from, and to and from on these as well. Although you do get some regular circles you could use in your planner. But to and from labels, to and from labels, and then some decorative stickers. So it's almost like a gift giving set with the cards and those gift labels. All right, and I'm gonna tuck that in there too. Okay, so that was the companion, companion accessories. And hopefully because if there, if it was in the sales section, that makes me nervous that maybe they wouldn't do it again if it didn't sell well, but maybe they've reordered and kept restocking it because it sold so well. So I'm hoping that's why. And then this was the planner companion accessories, not to be confused with the Planner Companion Accessories. You know what? I think this was two years ago. And this was last year's. Because this one's back when they were doing the bracelets. I was hoping it would have a year on it, but I don't see a year. Because it's not food. It's not like they have to put expiration dates on it. So this was last year because it came with this really cute coin purse instead of the bracelet. All right, you guys, come on. Look how cute the little coin purse is. You stick a couple coins in there, your cash, your card. Um, but you could also, and then it has a really cute happy planner label. But you could also use it for other stuff as well. Like maybe put your lip gloss or maybe some feminine items in there. And throw that in your purse. Maybe your uh, lipstick and your mascara, you know. Really anything you want. And then so Christmassy and festive in that gold zipper pull. So fun. Okay, so this is this year, or last year's, a companion Accessories, companion accessories, companion accessories. All right, so more plastic envelopes. But this time we get a multitude of sizes. So we get the tall poinsettia. Look how gorgeous that poinsettia envelope is. So again, cash, uh, donations, checks, receipts, whatever you want in there, maybe lists. And then you get the shorter ones. Now these fit perfectly in a mini planner. So you could pop these in a mini planner. Um, again, I keep pictures in one that I haven't had a chance to then memory plan yet. You could put coupons, um, you know, anything. User's great. I love them. So three of those. And then we didn't have to turn this into a pocket folder because they give you a pocket folder. All right, so you do get a pocket folder in this one that is Christmassy. It could be a little more Christmassy and less winter, but I think that's pretty cute. And then you get some stickers. Let me just pull everything out from the side. Okay, so you do get some sticker sheets, and they're not the two from labels like that other set was. Really cute and fun. And then you get this thicker cardstock. This one is a, um, what are they calling these? They call these a vision board. Yeah. They call them vision boards. But you know what? You could use these in your memory planner, maybe your favorite traditions, anything Christmassy you want. Maybe you put the movies that you love watching at Christmas time. Maybe you put that, that Hallmark movie list on here. You know, really anything you want. That they call these a vision board because they are that thicker card stock. And then the back has the lights with the feeling festive. And the fun is that making spirit, front is the making spirits bright. All right, and then we get another dry erase, wet erase board. And I love that it's Christmassy because then you can put that in there as a bookmark and it fits perfectly with your Christmas themed planner. All right, now we got a lot of filler paper in this set. See, I like this year's set because it was less like gift greeting cards and um, two from labels and more actual 
planner related stuff. All right, so you get your gift lists, which also come in the extension packs. And then you get a bunch of those. This For me, this is enough for like 10 years. I guess you could do each person if you're buying them multiple items. But I tend to do like each person I'm buying for and then write really small everything <laughs> I got them. And then you do get purchased and wrapped checklists. And then you get this really pretty graph or a dot grid paper with the red stars. And then this you can use for any of those lists you want to make or special pages. I've done a whole um, multiple videos on like doing um, Christmas music you like to listen to or Christmas movies you like, or maybe you do some memory keeping on these. And we get a bunch of those. And then somehow I had one of those in the back. Okay. And then 10 sheets of this. All right, so lots of filler paper in that set. And fun coin purse. And then you know what you can do with these since they were on sale and then an extra 30% off is you can make somebody else a Christmas planner with all these fun goodies, especially if you're like me and you've already bought those before. Okay, then the sticker books they had on sale. I got the Squad Life. I'm not going to do flip throughs on these because they're older and I have had them before. Um, but just to give you an idea, these have really cute seasonal stickers with these cute squad goals. And I always use lots of seasonal stickers. I love the fall especially. So we'll get a lot of use out of that one on sale. The summer sticker book. I need an entire sticker book of just sun stickers because we never have rain. And so I would use those all the time. Really cute, beachy, fun, bright, colorful stickers. All right, the other one I've had before is the, is the Wrong Wrong Accessory Book. And a little older, sticking it down. Okay, so this one has, you get the memo pad. And I like to stick these in the back of those deluxe covers. So I like having a seasonal one to go in the back of my seasonal planner. And then you get the sticky notes, really cute. And then some of the sticker sheets. And these are actually different from the sticker sheets that were in the seasonal wrong, wrong sticker book. But you can see we've got summer, spring, fall and winter, mostly Christmas, but winter. Really great little seasonal pack. All right, and then I also got the Socialite pack. Now she was one of my all-time favorite planner babes because look how cute her stuff is. This really cute floral, the really cute navy blue with the bows and the scallops. And so you get the memo pad, the sticky notes, and sticker pages. Let me give you a quick flip through. So you get the socialite girl with the different skin tones and then you get this great set of socialite stickers. So a lot of habit trackers. So her thing was the florals and the scalloped edge with that navy pink and green. The little palm trees. Love the little planners. And like the lipstick and bows. Just really fun. Okay, you get the idea. All right, and the older socialite stuff's really hard to find, but you can still find these accessory books that they made later. And then this one I hadn't had before is the Mickey and Minnie, and it's this floral bloom one, so it matches the planner that I have this year. But I hadn't bought the sticker book, but I think these are really pretty florals. We'll just go backwards here. And just Mickey and Minnie in these pastel colors. And see, pretty subtle here, and there's nothing Mickey or Minnie on that page of florals. And really pretty pastel colors. Yeah, so this matches my planner. 
can. These are a little on the bigger side. I can tell from these, I think they look a little wider than the classic size. I'll have to double check that though. Let me know if you know for sure. Yeah, see these colorful boxes are looking big to me, but really pretty. It doesn't mean you couldn't use them in your classic size planner. You would just offset them. More florals. This looks like we're starting over the same um, outline. Yeah. See, because I think before, were they mini before? Yeah. So see, there's the mini page and the Mickey page. So the same uh, layouts just for Mickey that second time. Okay, really cute. All right, so that's everything I got from that. Happy Planner sale, 30% off everything, even the sale stuff. So most of this was on sale. All of this was on sale, actually. The Christmas sets were on sale. The mini stuff that I'm gonna use for micro stuff was on sale. The only thing I got that was not on sale already was this, but the whole website was on sale, so it was 30% off. And then all this stuff was on sale plus 30% off, so it was a good deal. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you order anything from that Happy Planner sale? It's a good time to start if you're starting out on your planner journey to get a planner and some basic sticker books for quite a good discount. This is the time to do it. So um, even if you're helping a friend get started, it's a good time to help them buy some uh, uh, startup items. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.